Hi folks, I'm Dan DeRocha at Erica Record Baking Equipment. You may have seen me in some of the Baker's Insight videos. Uh, I'm not a baker by trade, but you know, my team is all a bunch of bakers. I'm surrounded by bakers every single day. Uh, and I've got, the, I've got the baking itch. You know, I, I really love the industry and uh, I love being around bakeries and being around bakers. But I never really got my hands dirty, so to speak. Uh, so I wanted to kind of journalize or, or create a little chronicle of uh, my experiences in, in getting involved in making bread. Uh, and I want to start off with sourdough. It's one of my favorites. And uh, the concept of making a starter was, was kind of interesting to me. So here we go. I mean, it's pretty basic. Day one. Day one, 120 grams of water, 120 grams of rye flour. I'm gonna mix them together, put them in the fridge. Check on it tomorrow, make sure there's no weird colors, feed it, and I, I, I'll show you. I'll, I'll take a little videos here and there, but I just wanna get a little, lay a little foundation. I'm gonna take this all the way to the end. I'm gonna bake some bread, hopefully in a week or so, and uh, maybe longer, maybe two weeks. We'll see how the, how the starter process goes. I'll show you my failures, I'll show you my successes, and hopefully the bread comes out nice. Hope you enjoy it. All right, so I incorporated the water and the flour. Uh, it was. It looked like uh, I wasn't getting full a full uh, combination there. There was some flour that uh, had not uh, had not combined well, so I added a little bit of water. Uh, this is basically it for day one. I'm going to seal it up. I'm going to put it in, uh, in the fridge. Uh, oh, a preface. You know, I washed my hands. I made sure all the tools that we used today uh, were clean. You know, uh, I used bottled water to start it off to make sure there's no chlorine in the, in the, uh, the water. Um, and another preface, I guess, that's kind of important is that uh, although I have a ton of baking resources here in the office, uh, inside the test bakery and my bakers, uh, I decided I want, I didn't really want any other help. So I, I'm using a book, I'm using a book reference. So it's kind of like, uh, trying to be an autodidact here. Uh, so it's, it's the bread Bible by, uh, Rose Levy, uh, Birnenbaum right here. Starter day one. That's what I followed. Hopefully we got something interesting and it's going to go right into that fridge. And I'm gonna check in on day two to see if there's any discoloration, which means it probably got contaminated. Otherwise, it's just chilling out for 48 hours.